how it's been a year since my last declutter, I don't know, but that kind of scares me a little bit. But we're gonna have a little sort through all my makeup today, give it a little spruce up, make it somewhat more organized, and I'm gonna bring you along. So if that sounds like a bit to you, come along. This is just a little overview of what we're actually working with in this declutter video. Now I'm not gonna stand here and say this is not a mess because I know it is, but in the past six months, this is probably the tidiest the desk has actually looked. But I'm hoping we can at least downsize a little bit just so that it's a lot less cluttered because I can't really sit and enjoy getting ready here at the minute because none of these products really have a permanent home so everything just kind of gets thrown on top of each other. So hopefully by the end of this, it's a little bit more clear. Obviously I'm not like banking on getting rid of a ton of ton of stuff but even if it's just a few things, that's good enough for me. I think the best place to start is getting rid of the stoppers in the drawers because that is like the biggest block for all my makeup products and it really limits the amount of stuff I can actually keep and store and the drawers are pretty small as it is so I need to really maximise the space which is quite difficult when you have way too many products and you don't want to get rid of anything so we'll try to get that out and then we can actually move on to the fun stuff which is sorting through all the makeup and what I want to keep what I want to get rid of and just making it look all nice and tidy and pretty so that's the plan. None of the screwdrivers have found are even the right size to take this out, but we're just going to have a fiddle around with both until we can loosen it a little bit so that I can actually just pull it off because this is like the biggest inconvenience ever. But hopefully this does something. Oh my god, it's actually working. It's actually working. Can I just twist that out with my fingers now? Come on. Oh, yes! Guys, we got it out! Oh my god, you don't understand how happy that makes me. I actually have space without a restriction. Right, let's do this draw while we're at it. Ugh. This is not the easiest thing to be doing when it's currently about 22 degrees outside. I'm absolutely oh, dripping. But we're almost there. Yes! I've smashed that. Best place to start, we're just going to clear absolutely everything off here so it's a nice blank canvas. So, for the time being, everything's just going to be thrown onto the floor. Makes life a tiny bit easier. I have this stuff in even makeup. Let me get a bin bag actually, that'll be a good start. Save me try to sort through the pile of makeup on the floor to get the rubbish out in that as well. Do it all in one. To be fair, there's not actually a lot. Nice um, chewed up hair roller there. I'm just going to wipe over the top of the desk with a little bit of this Aceve disinfectant. If you've not tried any Spanish cleaning products, take this as your sign because they're absolutely lush, like they smell divine, they're just, oh, the fab. Give that a little spritz. I say a little, that's a lot, but it smells so good. And make sure that's all nice and tidy. This cloth as well. It's also from the Spanish shop. It like clings all the dust up into it so that it's not like being spread around the desk because that is honestly one of the things I hate the most about cleaning surfaces like this. It's kind of like grips it up as you go along so it's super handy. I've got a few stains on this though so like not everything is going to come off. It's still going to look a little bit grubby but it's the best it's going to look. And then I've just got a bit of the window glass cleaner. This is the Olympia Cristals. I don't know if I'm saying that right but again Absolutely lovely. And I am just going to use the exact same wipe cloth, whatever. Also, I really should start being careful like when I'm spraying this around my photos. I don't even think like it could just be ruining them, but so far, they're fine. There we go. Give that a quick little once over again. I don't really know how I want to like properly go about this because I was kind of thinking like do it in groups. So foundations, concealers, powders, blush, bronzers, brows, liner, lips. But I feel like that might just drag on for way too long. So I was thinking maybe draw by draw. But then I've also got makeup bags that need emptying. Let's just not think about it. Let's just dive straight in. Okay, so 
make a brush can go in the pot. Let's do one below shears because I don't think I'm going to get rid of any of these. Last time I did this video, I owned four. We've now got an extra 20. So trying to store 24 of these is not easy because these drawers are not that deep. So I can't have them like stood up as much as I'd wish to do that. It's not possible. So let's just get them all out to start with and find every last one of them. One in here. Oh, they're all falling already. Oh my god. Just a tad bit obsessed, you know? Right, I think that's them all. Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. No. So we're missing two. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. No. So we're missing two. They're in the fake Louis. There we go. Right. I'm just going to store them in this for now because I don't really have any other way of keeping them organised. But then at least in this, they're kind of all together and I can just manoeuvre them a lot easier. So, we've got cold heart times two. I'm keeping every single one of these, by the way. None of these are going because they're just my favourite. We've got strawberry cream, posy rosy, pink links, prima donna, snatural, melon sorbet, teach and peach, teddy bear, blend and snatch, apricot hot, apricot hot again, toned up, cuddle me, tickled top. Hello there. Collectible, Sandy Lee, Shady Business, Caramel, a Shy Boy, Can't Cope With Coral Again, or I've already done that one, I don't know if I have, I've got two, and Peach Sugar. How pretty they all look. I might have to like, put them on a shelf or something somewhere, maybe on top of the desk, I don't know, but that's them kind of out of the way and organised for now. Maybe this is, oh my god, wait, I have another one there as well. Can't Cope With Coral, do I have three of them? Did I say that? Oh, I don't know. So I have more than 24. Wait, yeah, I've got another one because where's my red one? We've also got where's the SPF. So I have way more than I thought I did. Oh my god, I can't keep up. I think I'm just going to do it in order of like primers and that because it just, it seems easier to kind of keep it organised that way. I've got the CRA London Watermelon Bursting Primer. I absolutely love this and it smells divine. So that is staying. This is where it's going to be ripped. Another one! A chance of peach. What the f***? Anyways. Um, primers. This is technically a primer, not really, but it's a base product. This is the Glow Lights by Bondi Sands. This makes you look so sun kissed. Maybe I should just like empty the makeup bags first, that might be easier. I'll put them into this and then we can kind of sort it all from this. Bear with me two seconds while I top this up. Can we tell I've not really thought this through on how I want to go about it? have to clean these at some point as well. Makeup bag numero uno. Empty. On to number two. This is definitely not all going to fit in this drawer, but we're going to try our best to work through it. Body sprays don't need to be in there. Another blush. Face wash doesn't need to be in there. She's stacking it up. And then we'll, we'll do that draw afterwards because that's just too much. Okay, we've got the PS Flawless Glow Radiant Primer Foundation Hybrid. This is lovely, although it doesn't match me at the minute. Wish I'll keep because I don't know if that's going to be easily accessible again. We have the Ekin Sue Be Perfect in number two light medium. Again, stunning, doesn't match me at the minute, but we're keeping it nonetheless. This is a brand new Pixie Clarity Mist, which I've not tried, so keep that. Then we've got the PS Prep and Perfect refreshing setting spray I don't really use this so that can be the first thing to go I'm gonna be putting it in a bin don't be alarmed not everything that goes in the bin will be going in the bin but it's just easier to chuck it all in one place and then I can sort through what I want to give away and what actually needs to go in the trash so for now just for the purpose of decluttering it's in there we have the new ooh, Urban Decay All Nighter and the original as well as the full size it may seem excessive but this is exciting to me because I've got some these in PR by Urban Decay themselves so those are obviously gonna stay. I've also got the She Glam Birthday Skin Primer. This is so good, so that's gonna stay. And then we've got a little Avocado Poreless by Beauty Crop, which we're gonna keep as well. This is not looking good. So foundations, lasting perfection, L'Oreal True Match. Then we have my ordinary ones. I just cannot get rid of this. This is gonna stay. I'm sorry. I'm a hoarder at heart. Just because I don't sell this anymore, so I want to hold on to it for as long as possible until like I've used it up. Because if I get rid, I can't rebuy, and that makes me very, very sad. 
wrapped with any more foundations in there. I think I'm gonna get rid of my Primark, my Perfect Colour Foundation. I just don't really reach for it anymore. And I just have too much, like I have to get rid of something, you know? So, bye bye. I have that in two shades, so we'll get rid of the lighter one as well. See you later. And then I have the She Glam Skin Finite Hydrating Foundation. I'm not sure how I feel about this, but that might just be because I didn't pick up the right shade. I went for Shell, but at the minute it's a little bit too light for me. So I'm going to hold on to it. We'll try it again. Then if I don't like it, it can go. But for the time being, that's going to stay with these two. I can't see any other foundations as of now, so that's just going to stay there. It's really hard to do this in order when everything's kind of messed up. So I think I might just go in and just grab it and just see. Like, it's a card game that can go. We've got the Benefit Boing Concealer. I absolutely love this, but it is just like so old and grubby now. There's literally nothing even left in it, so. See you later, hon. The She Glam Brow Wax Gel Pomade thing. This is really good, so we'll keep that. That's a broken mirror for my old Primark powder, which can go in the bin because that has definitely seen better days. Good boy. I've got the Soft Focus Glow Drops by Rodeo. These are so nice on no makeup days, so we'll put that in the primer pile. What is this? Milani Luminoso. This is so old. The packaging's broken. There's literally zero pigment in it anymore. Like, it doesn't even show up on my skin, so... Bye-bye. Again, I've got the Benefit Rocketeur blush. I haven't reached for this in a long time, so this can go to a better home. This has somehow snuck its way back into my collection, but again, still don't use this, so goodbye for the second time. That's the Hula Caramel. I then have two, I've just seen another one, of the Meggy Lashes Brow Soap. This one's been used and this one's not been opened, so I might keep this and put this in a giveaway. We've got Anastasia contour stick foundation in mink this is like the only cool tone actual contour product i own so i think i am just going to hold on to that my new little urban decay space cowboy obviously staying i love this ordinary moisturizer so you can stay these new pixie on the glow i think when i swatched this one it was a little bit light for me so i don't know whether to just keep one of these or both we'll keep both for the time being you never know this is why i'm so bad at decluttering elf puff puff primer again don't really know how i feel about this the first time i used it it kind of felt a bit strange on my face but i kind of want to give it another go just to see because i feel like it's only fair <sighs> i'm so bad at this right the instant age rewind i just i despise the packaging of this whoever thought that that was a good idea i don't know but it's just too messy and i can't i hate the look of it in my makeup drawers like it just looks ugh. Same with these little Primark My Perfect Colour ones. It's the same sort of concept. They're just, they look grim. I think I've got another one of them somewhere. See you later. Pink Honey. Not reached for this in so long. I couldn't even tell you which one this is because the label fell off that long ago. Had it for years and it's just, it doesn't really work anymore because it's that old, so... Bye bye. Got my little milk makeup contour stick. It's probably the best find I've ever got from TK Maxx, so that is gonna, of course, stay. Got another Maybelline eraser. Why do I have so many of you? It's a good concealer, but the packaging just messes me off. We've got HMB concealer in 0.5N. We shall hold on to that. Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in stripped. This, I think, is just got a bit funky now. It smells a bit strange. I'm not really a liquid lipstick fan. Good boy. Anastasia Beige Stick Foundation. This is way too light for me, so I might see if Molly wants that. If not, see you later. I've got two eyelash glues. I've got the Duo, which is my right on eye. I love this girl, so she can stay. And then I've got basically a knockoff version of that, which does nothing, so that can go. I've got a tiny little milk makeup blush in the shade Work. I mean, the size difference between these is laughable, but I'm gonna keep it anyway because it is a pretty shade. We've got the Primark Foundation Contour Stick in Chai. Love. Love it. We've got another foundation. This is the Primark Illuminating Foundation, which is a little bit... Actually, no, this might be my shade at the minute because I'm more tan, so I'm going to keep hold of that. We've got the CP Cosmetics Brow Gel. One of my faves. I could never say goodbye to this. She's perfect. This is the newer version of the Primark powder that I've just thrown out, so I'm going to keep this one because it's actually in contact. Like, the mirror's still connected she looks a lot nicer so keep that i've got the fenty beauty matchstick in tripping as much as i keep trying to hold on to this i just do not reach for it at all it's like a tangerine -y reflex it is really pretty but i just find it really hard to blend and i just i don't reach for it so 
sadly we're going to say goodbye to that. Um, we've got the Revolution Light Pink Loose Setting Powder, no flashback. I actually really like this, just the only thing is the packaging is super messy, but I'm going to keep it nonetheless because it is a good budget one, although I don't think they sell it anymore. We've got the Fenty Beauty Private Island Bronzer, she is stunning, love this. We've got a little NARS Orgasm Blush, this is in the old packaging. I actually really prefer this to the new updated one, so I'm going to keep this because... She's really pretty and it's nice on no makeup days when you just want a nice little pink reflex glow on your cheeks. We've got the Zoeva Nova little jelly highlight. Again, absolutely love this stuff. I wear it underneath my makeup for a nice little subtle glow. So we'll keep hold of that. I'm not going to lie, this used to be my holy grail. I have not reached for it in the past six months since I got my Huda Beauty powder. I know they're two completely different colours but I just... I don't reach her anymore, which I never thought I'd say because this is what I use on an everyday basis without a doubt. But it's time to say goodbye because I also do have the She Glam Insta Ready Face and Under Eye Setting Powder in Bisque, which I quite enjoy too. So we've got two loose setting powders, don't think I need more than that. Oh, we've got three because I've still got the Revolution one that I've shown as well. Then we've got the P. Louise, we've got three of these. Cheek of it, we've got two if fruity sun kiss miss and melon mood. Melon mood is the only one I've actually like properly used, so I don't know about these two. Yeah, I'm gonna keep them all. They just look pretty, don't they? I can't say goodbye. I'm sorry, I'm so bad at this, but it's my makeup, I do what I want. Alright, we've got under eye brightener, that's skincare. We've got the Huda Beauty Wedding Day lipstick, she is so done it it's such a nice like deep nude and we've got a bunch of the made by mitchell liners we're going to keep all of these because they're good for lips and eyes we've got turn tiger's eye in the nude be at one star keys black track and rich rich make a toast there we go so those can stay i do also have two of the liquid or these graphics we've got lilac and we've got milk i don't know when i'd ever see myself wearing a purple liner but I like to kind of keep some creative stuff on those days when I'm feeling a little bit creative. Yeah. <laughs> We've then got my Refi products. Absolutely swear by the medium pencil in brown. I love this. I've got the little brow sculpt, which I quite like. But then this, I don't really tend to reach for. This is the brow pomade. Comes with the brush. I just think the brush is way too fat to use the little dip brow with. But this... This is a spenny product, so I don't think I can just like toss this away. So we're just going to keep it just because it is a nice little setting. You never know. Pomade brows might become one of my new favourite things again. I highly doubt it, but it's nice to have just in case, isn't it? I don't know. I'm just talking myself into keeping stuff I don't need. That is rubbish. I've got my two pink honey pencils somewhere. Brow pencils. These are lovely, although I do use them mostly for doing like the beauty spots on my face. I've got one of these like eyeliner glue pens, but it's just super messy, so that can go. We've got the Lottie London blush. I love this in haze. I keep saying I'm going to get the other shades, but I can never find them. But it's so pigmented and it's just nice because it's compact, so you can travel with it easily. We've got the Collection Last Infection Concealer. I'm going to keep these wherever the other one is. These three update ones with the pink lid and then I'm going to get rid of my old gold one because I've took the stopper out so this is just an absolute mess now. Like, I do not want to be putting that near my face. Thank you very much. So that can go and then we'll keep these three. We've got the She Glam. This is honestly one of my favourite things. This came in a set with a lip liner. It's the Pouty Nude 90s like lip kit thing. Honestly, I've never found a nicer lip combo. It is stunning as well for the price. It's just can't be. This Bondi Sans SPF lip balm is lovely but you know when you don't clean the lid properly and then it goes all like mouldy inside because all the product like builds. Yeah. Bye bye. BFF Face Frosting. Of course I'm going to keep this. She is stunning. Then we've got the She Glam Hush Hush Colour Bloom Liquid Blush. This is a really nice peachy colour. I'm going to hold on to that. She's very sweet. Cocoa Powder Brow Powder. This is the only brow powder I own, so we're going to keep all that. This is by Pink Honey. As well as the Pot Concealer, because I don't have any other concealers in this form. But it's good for doing your spots and stuff like that, so we'll keep hold of them. Then we've got some eyeliners and eyebrow products. She Glam Eyeliner, She Glam Brow Pencil. We'll keep 
Benefit Micro Filling Brow Pen. This is almost out, but I'm going to keep it until it's gone because it's my holy grail. NYX Professional Brow Pencil, love. And then I've got two of the Illamasqua eyeliners, but I'm pretty sure this big one has run out. So, yeah, I can't even open it. Here we go. And I'll keep the little one. Dull Beauty Lip Liner, we shall keep. I'm going to get rid of this. I think it's Rimmel, I don't even know, because it's all scratched off. Like, one of the new, like, waterline colours, just because I don't really wear it. All my Primark lip liners, I've got more of these somewhere, but these can all stay because they are pure effect. I love She Glam Bronzer, that can stay. Doll Beauty Lipstick in Come To Mama. I don't think you'll ever see the day where I get rid of this. She is so good. Then got this CRA Dewy Blush Glossy Cheek. I don't know, but I don't really use it, so that can go. As well as this Emco Beauty Cheek and Lip Tint. I've not even opened it since the last video, and that was over a year ago, so... Bye bye. The Barry on Fresh Face Cheek and Lip Tint. We'll keep that one. We'll keep that one. Then got my two e cooking eyeshadows. These are the only ones I actually really reach for. Shade 5 and Shade 7. So those can stay. A nail file. Got L'Oreal Telescopic and MAC. In Extreme Dimension 3D Black Lash. We'll keep them. I don't ever reach for this Malibu lip balm. And it's literally solid as a rock. Kiko Milano Gloss in 0 0.5, yes please. This Primark lip balm is actually really nice, but I might just keep this in my makeup bag so I won't put it in this collection. Revolution Pout Bombing Candy. This is one of the best lip glosses ever. She is stunning. Primark lipstick in, what are you? Naked. I don't really reach for this. I literally got it for that one Primark video and haven't used it since, so that can go. MAC Strobe Cream, that's probably like 10 years old now. She Glam Concealer, we shall keep my Brazilian Sol de Janeiro Kiss Lip Balm. Best thing ever, tastes like flapjacks. Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer, that shall stay. As well as my MAC Mocha, just because it's my first ever MAC blush and I just love it. And I've not really got any other blush colours like that. And then my MAC eyeshadow, just a nice little new brow. So that is the first draw done. There's not as much in this draw to get through. Tarte Park have Princess Palette. Love this. And I don't think they sell it anymore, so I want to keep hold of it because it's just such a beautiful array of bronzer shades in there. We've got the Marabedescu Mint Lip Balm. I love this. MAC, what is this? Whisper of Guilt Highlighter. This is beautiful. Don't care how old it is. I'm going to keep it forever because she's stunning. And I don't really know many highlighters. So that's nice to have. I've got the soap brows. I think I'm going to keep this because I did get rid of my pink honey one. And I don't think I have any other like soapy brow products. I've got the Doll Beauty Stella V lipstick. This is like a slightly more orange version of Come to Mama, which I'm going to keep as well. Makeup brush does not need to be in there. And it's stuck to a pair of lashes, which I'm not going to wear so they can go. Oh, I feel like I'm getting through all this now. I'm good. I'm getting good. Right, we've got a Primark 3D Lash Effects Mascara. I actually really like that, so I'm going to keep that. What else have we got in here? Benefit 24-hour Brow Setter. I really like that. This is a really old Kat Von D eyeliner pen, which hasn't worked for about a year. And then I've got a Zoeva black eyeliner pencil, but I've kept all the Mitchell ones, so I don't need that. I want to roll. And then I've got the Primark dupe of the Brow Sculpt from Refi, which I'm going to keep because it's nice to have a cheaper version. I don't really reach for this Primark PS bronze, so that can go. It's just way too red and deep toned for my skin tone. P. Louise, absolutely love this lip oil. I did have the matching keychain, but it popped a hole and leaked everywhere, so that had to go in the bin, so... We shall keep that one. Kiko Milano, these products all need a clean. Oh my god, this is the Warflower Bronzer. Again, they don't sell this, but I love it, so keeping it. We've got the Illamasqua Beyond Powder Highlight. I don't really reach this. It's an absolutely beautiful colour. It's like one of the baked ones, but I just don't ever find myself wearing that. We've got the Primark Prep and Protect Vitamin E Moisturiser that we shall keep. Another She Glam Concealer will keep. This Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Primer, which will keep this Primark Blurred Out Powder. I didn't really like it. It had really bad flashbacks, so that can go. More Primark Lip Liners. These can all stay. Huda Beauty, what are you? Liner, and it's like a pencil on one end and a liquid liner on the other end, but I have way too many liners. I just don't ever reach for this, so that can go. We've got the Benefit Gimme Brow, which I'll keep. Primark Gloss. This is absolutely beautiful, so we'll keep that. Lime Crime Red Velvet Liquid Lipstick. This is like one of the only red... Oh, never mind. It's dried out. I was going to keep that, but no point. Bare Minerals Bronzer in Warmth. This is a nice little travel bronzer just because it's tiny and it's a 
see the pretty color i've got the essence extreme shine flower blossom lip gloss this is absolutely beautiful if you've not tried the essence lip glosses say this is your sign because it's stunning nyx lip liner in new truffle i'm gonna keep as well as the lip gloss in madeline this is the butter one charlotte tilbury lip liner in pillow talk i actually really do like this now i've tried it again today we've got the pixie brightening perfector which we'll keep she glam lightweight matte blush this is such a pretty color i'm pretty sure this is the old packaging but look at that oh. we've got a she glam golden sun bronzer this is really pretty although it's a little bit too light for me but it'll be nice for a winter or when i don't want as deep of a bronze on my face bum bum cream is not needs in here we've got a pixie lip balm which is new so i'm gonna keep that we should miss i'd be silly to let that go because it's so good and then i've got the kylie blush in baddie on the block which is an absolute dream look at that oh i actually think i've done that pretty quick you know here's everything we've got rid of which i don't think is bad at all obviously it doesn't look like as much because it is in a deeper bin than last time but that's like half full nearly so i'm pretty proud of myself i've smashed that i know these drawers are never gonna look clean but as long as in my head i know that i've tried my best to get all the off of them that's good enough. They're not the best to store makeup in. I know they weren't exactly sold as beauty storage anyway. I just thought it'd be a good idea. Clearly not because nothing fucking fits in them. And you put the tiniest bit of moisture in and the wood just f***s up because it's so cheaply made. These little insert things are from B&M. I'm just going to give them a quick little one over. Again, they're still going to look absolutely filthy, but as long as my makeup's stored, I don't really care. I probably will move these around. Like, I don't know how I want to actually put the little compartments yet, but we'll come to that. I'll pop these back in the little slots. And then we can put stuff back on top of the desk. Pop my little mirror back there. Give that a quick little wipe over. Honestly, I think I've had this about... 10 years now and they've probably come out with five different versions since then it did used to light up but the wire was too much faff so i just chopped it off and now we've got that put my little flowers next to it to have some greenery i don't know how i want to actually store these at the minute but for now we're just going to put them there just so that there's some sort of order with everything and then my makeup brushes which need big, oh my god everything's dropping on the floor they need a big fat clean but Okay. Oh my god! Right, let me re-angle everything because I'm getting stressed. Right, that's looking pretty, in it? Like, that looks gorgeous. So, we're now going to organise everything in these so that it's easy to access. I don't know, I'm chatting Right, let's just do it. I'm only just realising now how bad the angle of this actually was. I really thought you could see, like, all the products properly, so I apologise for it being so zoomed out. But I just basically sped this process up because I wasn't even talking through it anyway. So I feel like it'd be pretty boring to just sit and see this in silence. So I've just done like all the kind of face primer setting sprays in one drawer. And then the other drawer is like my blushes, bronzers, eyes. And I just kind of tried to make do with what space I had because I don't have a ton of storage. I don't have a ton of space. So this is the best we kind of worked with. But I really do like how it actually turned out. I feel like I've got rid of a decent amount of products. And... I'm just really pleased with the outcome and you'll see that when I'm finished organising but I'm just going to leave you to sit and watch me do the rest of these drawers and yeah, that's that. This is probably the quickest I've ever done a declutter. It's taken me three hours, which is record time for me. I still need to clean my brushes and stuff, but I'm loving how the top of the desk looks. I've just popped my Maybelline Mitchell liners in a little pot there as well, just to look nice next to the blushes. But the drawers, oh my God, it's so fun. Being able to store everything all in the middle. Look at how 
jam-packed and colourful that looks. Same with this one. They're a bit of a squeeze, but everything managed to fit perfect. Look at all that. Oh my god, I genuinely could not be happier. Like, I'm just so gassed right now. I actually have a clean, tidy space to get ready and do my makeup, and I'm just absolutely buzzing about it. Look at it all! She's stunning, she's tidy, she's clean. I'm a happy gal. So thanks for joining me. That's everything I have to share with you for this year's declutter. Probably won't be another one for another year now because I don't really get makeup that often and I'm really bad at getting rid of it. So these videos don't come around very often but I hope you did enjoy it nonetheless. I'm gonna love you and leave you and I'll see you in my next one. Bye! S-O-S, never guess, cause I know Mama told me that I'm blessed But he never on the show Get impressed, cause I'm dope You don't smoke, what you mean? Keep it potent as the green So you know this happy tree